Hello, and welcome to uh, Lesson 5 on C-Sharp with Unity. And in this particular lesson, we're going to be talking about uh, arithmetic formulas. So the last lesson we had, we talked about doing arithmetic um, operators like addition, subtraction, and so on. And now we're going to talk about formulas. The main thing is, is go to main camera and just make sure you don't have a script attached there. I got my arithmetic attached there. So I'm going to click on this little uh, button here. And you can't see it, but it says remove component. I'm going to click on that. So I've removed any script from the main camera. And also make sure that the maximize on play is not active. And make sure that you're on your console. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start a new script. I'm going to create a C script. And I'm going to call it uh, my uh, my formulas, F O R M U L A S. Okay, and there it is. And if I double click it, I see there's a class name my formulas. And what I want to do with this is that I'm going to come here and start, and I'm going to illustrate something that you may not be aware of, but it's really a pretty neat thing to know. Uh, I'm going to put in print, and then I'm going to put in a formula, even though it's pretty simple, 2 plus 3 plus uh, 4. And i got to put in my semicolon, and I'll just put a simple, simple formula. Now, you might say, well, what's this going to print out? Well, actually, it'll print out 2 plus 3, which is what? 5 plus 4 is 9. It'll actually do the computations in here. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to save it, and then let's close it, and then let's go ahead and run it right here. Whoops, we don't get anything. Right? Why not? It's because we didn't attach it to anything in the scene. So let's attach my formula to the main camera, and let's try it again. And now what do we get? We get 9. Okay, and that's great. That's what we should have gotten. So we see that the formula thing works, and you might say, well, so what's the big deal about that? Well, this is really pretty cool because I can do all kinds of computations now. Let's say I got a wizard doing a magic trick or I got some kind of artificial intelligence thing happening. Let me show you some of the other stuff we can do with this. I'm going to put a times and I'm going to put parentheses and I'm going to put uh, uh, 4 uh, plus uh, 2 and then the parentheses. And then over here, I'm going to put a... Um, Instead of a plus 4, I'm going to put a minus sign. So effectively, we're using all our stuff except for division. We can show that too. Um, and so now what should we get? Well, the way you work this is that you do all the work in parentheses first. And so the work in here is 4 plus 2 is 6. Then you do multiplications and divisions. 3 times 6 is 18. So that's 18, right? Then you do the addition and subtraction So from left to right. So 18 plus 2 is 20, minus 4 is 16. So this should give us 16. Well, fingers crossed. Let's hope it would be embarrassing if we get something else here. Okay, we'll go ahead and try it. And there it is. We get 16. Hooray, that worked. So what we can do here is that we can have all kinds of formulas that we can put in here. Uh, let's, for example, do a, a, a division here. We can do divided by 2, for example. So what's the rule? We do all the work inside parentheses first. 4 plus 2 is 6. And then we do the multiplication and division. Uh, 3 times 6 is 18. Divided by 2 is 9. Right? So all this should be 9. Hopefully I'm doing this right. 9 plus 2 is 11. Right? And minus 4 uh, should be a 7. Did I do that right? Okay, let's see. Fingers crossed. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and do it and see what we get. And we get, yes, hooray, that worked too. Okay, now, there's another way that I can do these formulas. What I could do is I could take all this formula right here. I'm just going to highlight the formula. Whoops, come on. I just want to highlight the formula. And I'm going to do a uh, control C. And I'm going to do here a control V to paste it up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 
answer, A-N-S-W-E-R, equals, equals all that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to print out the answer, A-N-S-W-E-R. Now, of course, I don't put parentheses around here because if I do, uh, I mean quotation marks, because if I put quotation marks here, I'll get the word answer. Otherwise, I'll get the value of answer. I'm going to get an error here. Well, for several reasons. First of all, I didn't finish it with a semicolon. But does anybody know why I'm going to get an error here? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Big error here. It says, whoops, look down here. Uh, error on line 8. Answer does not exist in the current context. And why is that? Well, it's because I didn't declare it. I have to tell the computer, I have to say, look, this is going to be an integer, and the identifier is answer, and I'm going to initialize it to a value of zero. So now the computer knows, oh, that's what answer is. Answer is going to be an integer, and you've initialized it to the value of zero. Okay, that's cool. Well, it should work now. Doesn't this is going to be embarrassing? Okay, let's see. We'll do it right here and we'll run it. And we get, yeah, the same answer we got before, seven. So we know it works. Now, here's something that, that is, is rather interesting. And what it is is that I can, for example, I can put inside quotation marks uh, the answer, S W E R, is, okay colon, space, quotation marks, and then we're going to put a plus sign here. Now you might say, wait a minute, what's going on here? Well, what I've done here is I've uh, concatenated, that's a big word, concatenated, uh, a string with a variable. And, and uh, I've used a plus sign to do that. So what this allows me to do, it allows me to... Uh, to uh, uh, a string to be associated with a variable. So I can associate the string with a variable. Let, let's see. I'm going to save it. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go ahead and run it and I get the answer is 7. Hey, hey, that's pretty cool because now I can have some some really uh, heavy duty output here. This is called con concatenation and I used a plus sign for it. I also used a plus sign for addition. So this plus symbol is an operator, and what I'm doing here is called operator overloading. In other words, the, 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 uh, the, the system, the C-sharp system knows that if I use a plus here, it means join these together. Like, for example, I can do this right here. I can put another plus sign, and I can put, uh, put a space, the end, and do this right here. And I should have the answer is, with the numeric value, the end. All right, like, big deal. But let's try it. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to try it again. And it says, the answer is 7, the end. So what we've done here is we've learned uh, that we can use arithmetic formulas in C sharp. And we also learned that we can do concatenation, uh, which means that we can join strings together. And we can join strings with variables. And this gives us a really cool tool for doing some uh, heavy-duty game stuff. Okay, that's it for uh, this video, and uh, thank you for watching.